Hey bestie boos, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So don't worry, I'm not going to be sat in this little area for the whole video. I have basically moved around my whole room today. Just to let you know you're in for a treat. This video is a total mess as always. It's a chaotic, crazy mess. Um, but basically I've been getting quite a few questions recently about this makeup that I've been doing. Like my glowy, natural, like cute, clean. I mean, you could say clean, but today it's definitely not. I'm looking so weird. It's basically like my more natural day-to-day -day glowy style makeup. Um, so I have just filmed that for you. I have just done the outro and said that this video probably won't even go up on YouTube because I'm just not happy with how it's turned out. I just moved my camera settings around. Like, I was just Googling how to have my settings and I've really mucked my camera up, like, big time. Um, so I think that this video probably won't make it to YouTube. If it does, hello. I love you, thank you for clicking on, I hope you enjoy. I hope you guys do enjoy, if you do please remember to smash a massive thumbs up, subscribe down below and yeah, enjoy the chaotic makeup video. Does anybody else just absolutely hate freshly washed hair? Like my hair has literally just been washed and I despise it. It just doesn't like do what I want it to do, it just flops around, it's just not cute. I still don't have a setup in my house that I'm happy with. Um, I've literally moved everywhere today. It's taken me about an hour to start filming this video because I just don't like everywhere that I set up to film. So we're in the bedroom. Sorry about the setup. I've got a tiny mirror. And I'm going to do my makeup for you guys today. I actually have been getting a fair few questions about my makeup recently. I've been using new products. I've been testing new things, which isn't usually like me. I'm not really one to do that. I'm going to start with my um, vitamin enriched face base, which I've been using god maybe like a year or a bit and a bit now um i've definitely told you guys about this before but i basically just use this as my like moisturizer primer i probably put this on like twice a day to be fair like even if i'm not wearing makeup this still goes on first thing in the morning what's really annoying guys is that actually my skin has been dreamy recently like not to brag or be like annoying but my skin actually has been a dream recently and then every time I'm like oh I'm gonna film my my makeup video my skin just <laughs> out of nowhere out of nowhere can you see that's what that's like that it's disgusting right, the thing is I watch people's videos and their cameras are so clear I, I have the same camera as everybody else why is my camera never clear like, I just can't seem to get my camera to work. Can everyone please tell me? Like, what am I supposed to do about this? Okay, first things. First things first on the list. Du, 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 du. So, basically, I just go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I use the shade for medium. Uh, where's my ring gone? I've lost a ring. Weird. I'm gonna have to just wear it like that. Um, yeah, I use Charlotte Tilbury number four. I basically use my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter number four um, with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade six point five. So I just mix these two together. Really, I got the Armani foundation because um, people seem to rave on about it all the time. Like I literally see people going on about it at least once a week like on instagram i'm constantly seeing people talking about it and then on black friday it was reduced on look fantastic it had literally like 20 quid off like i think i paid about 20, 20 something pounds for it which for the armani foundation is actually a bargain um so i thought you know what like if i want to test it now is my is my time so I thought, i'm just gonna i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna absolutely go for it I can't lie to you guys, I won't be purchasing purchasing it again. To be honest, since I've been using it, I have actually had a lot of questions about my makeup. Um, but at the same time, I think I'm getting questions for, about other things. I don't think it's necessarily the foundation. It works nicely with the Charlotte Tilbury, but when it's on its own, I just, I don't really, I don't really get the hype, do you know what I mean? Like... I've definitely used better foundations. I've definitely used worse, don't get me wrong. And I, obviously I did only pay like £28 for it in the sale, but to pay for that full price, I just personally don't think it's worth it. But at the same time, what do I know? 
nothing. I don't know much about makeup. One thing I do know is that this is the best product you will ever use in your entire life. This is the Refi Bronzer. Um, now, Refi is up there with my favourite makeup, like, company brand. I literally live for this stuff. Um, I really would appreciate Refi coming out with, like, every single makeup product possible because... I need it. I absolutely... Oh, Jess Hunt, we need a foundation. We need a concealer. We need every single makeup product, please, because I am obsessed with everything that I've tried, which means anything she creates, I'm going to absolutely love. Also, ignore the nose. We sort that out, don't you worry. Natural, glowy, shiny, dewy. It's basically like summer skin all through winter. Um, but the Refi Bronzer is 100% the product that you need for this. It's just absolutely stunning. I feel like you can't really explain this product until someone's used it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I literally love it. I started with the blush. Alex got me the blush for my birthday and I was obsessed. And then we had seen the bronzer in Selfridges and we kept meaning to get it and we just, it, we just kept, just didn't get it. Um, and then she actually got it a little while ago and I used it and that was it. Game changer. Absolute game changer. Get rid of the chin. For me personally, especially this sort of like makeup vibe, like the clean, you know, fresh look. Less is definitely more. Um, I personally do less and then build it up, if you know what I mean. So I, I go in with less and then if I feel like I need more, we go in with more. Here's some concealer. So this is the... I don't know if I said actually that refined bronze is in the shade tan because that's what I've been getting a lot of questions on. There's me saying less is more whilst I whack on this much concealer. Um... Concealer is the Eye Bright Revolution Illuminating Under Eye Concealer in the shade F Nose. I haven't got a clue. I'm actually using the Charlotte Tilbury Concealer. The one that literally looks just like this. Guys, I can't lie, I wasn't impressed. The actual concealer itself was okay, but not for the price that I paid. And also, the like... The little spongy thing that you apply it with just did not work for me. It just broke literally a couple of days into me buying the foundation. Like it just, in the concealer, sorry. So I'm not impressed. And it's just expensive for what it is. So I went for this, this Revolution one because obviously the whole point in it is clearly a dupe. It's up. The packaging is identical. Same colour, same shape, everything. Um, and I can't lie to you. It's exactly the same. I literally wouldn't notice if you'd put Charlotte Tilbury on me or... Revolution, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I'm sure people that are really into makeup and like know a lot about makeup and you know the way it sits on the skin and whatever else people go on about, I'm sure they would be able to tell, but for me, I literally cannot tell. I do do my cream contour first, as you would have just seen, mainly because I do get my cream contour everywhere and I feel like if I do my cream contour for, uh, after concealer, I end up just looking like there's no bright under eyes, you know, the concealer just sort of disappears. This camera setting, I'm really trying with the, with the camera guys and what's, what's happening here? Okay, I think we're back. Unfortunately, I'm going to just have to sit on the floor, but I'm not really sure what's going on. I think I broke my camera. It's getting me down. I think I was talking about Charlotte Tilbury. I can't remember. You guys probably don't even care anyway because I don't actually know what I'm talking about. Back in with my Refi brush and just use whatever is on the brush to sort of just... Bring a little bit of the colour back. Build it up. The thing is, like, I don't look like what I look like in the camera. It's really getting me down. I have got my Laura Mercier powder. So, you guys know I was an absolute major fan of the YSL powder. Don't get me wrong. Still am. Absolutely love it. However, I got the... I only got the YSL because I'd run out of Laura Mercier. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to give it a go. Um, and I got addicted, let me just tell you that. Addicted. I'm sort of running out of it. I've still got quite a lot left and I have had it for way over a year now. So if you're someone like me that doesn't wear powder that much, but I don't really wear makeup during the week, maybe I probably wear my makeup once or twice a week. Um, so if you're like me, then you do that. It will last you forever. But it is pricey. Like it's an, it is a pricey powder. 
and I noticed it was running out and when I noticed Laura Mercier powder on ASOS was actually on sale I think I literally paid like £20 for this um, so I thought I'm just going to get myself a top up of Laura Mercier in case my YSL runs out and then when I need new powder I don't want to pay full price for Laura Mercier do you know what I mean? I'm trying to just help the bank account here um, but then obviously the Laura Mercier came and I just got very excited to use it so I started using it and now I'm addicted to Laura Mercier again I haven't actually used my YSL since little Laura arrived. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure I'll be back to using it very soon. But I am loving the Laura Mercier powder. I literally haven't used it for so long. I don't really bake, by the way. I sort of just press it on like that. And then literally once I've finished putting it everywhere I want it, I do just brush it straight off. Because um, I like the like light cast that it leaves, if you know what I mean. I don't want to bake, but I like the structure it gives my face. So... I do like to leave it just to sort of, kind of like stain, it sort of stains my skin, do you know what I mean? I know you're all here for like the the glowy, healthy sort of vibes, it will be back, I promise you, we just have to, to do this first, we've got to set it. Next, we are going to go in with the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer, right, one thing you need to know about me is bronzer is my best friend. I use a lot of bronzer, so we've already used the Refi, we're now going in with Give Me Sun, and we are also going in with um Milani afterwards okay we use a lot we do but that is the secret just go ham with the bronzer you can never have too much well that's a lie I'm sure you probably can but for me the more the merrier give me some very cute a little bit on the chin you know what I said about the chin we don't we don't want it I basically just use my bronzer brush for my eyeshadow I can't lie Whatever is left, I just sort of blend it in. The Milani Soleil bronzer. This is a dream. It's very natural. Like, you have to use a lot for it to come out, which is why I use it on top of all of my other bronzers. Um, but I couldn't live without this now. This is 100% going to be in my makeup bag for the rest of my life. And I basically, as you can see, just sort of buff this on this big brush. All around my face I actually just use a brown mascara on my eyebrows but this sort of puts them how I want them if you know what I mean and this mascara needs to be dried before we go in with the brown we have got our Refi blush in Malaya I think that's how you say it I could be saying that's so wrong she is loved she is a mess she is thriving though she's stunned we absolutely love the Refi blush. Again, another product you guys need in your makeup bag. Like, it literally is a game changer. I've always had a fair few questions about my makeup, but I don't feel like my makeup's ever been anything special. I think people have just liked the sort of way I do my makeup. Um, I think my makeup photographs really well as well. Like, not to, I don't know if that's a cocky thing to say, but like, I feel like in photos my makeup does look quite nice. Um, but since using Refi products, that is when people have really been asking about my makeup. Um, I kind of just bring this across the whole front of my face. Again, I love, like, a summer skin kind of vibe. Um, so even though it's, it's minus 10 degrees outside, just pop on a little bit of blush all over your nose and you look sunburnt. You know, we love to look like that. I'm then going to go back in. This is where we bring the, the glow and the lusciousness back in. Go back in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and just pop it. A little bit on your cheek. A little bit on the edge of your nose. A little bit on the rim of your nose. Is that your rim? The bridge. Forehead and chin. The glow is, is going to come back, okay? Also, I would usually contour my nose. But I don't know where my... brush has gone and I'm just using the Refi brush again um, to blend in the flawless filter. Can you see? The glow is coming back. She's here. She's arrived. <gasps> wow. This makeup, I promise you, you will love this. It's perfect for just day to day because if, if you want like a more natural day to day, you just do all of this but just cut down on it. You, like, you just don't need to put so much on. The trick with this makeup is just keep blending. You don't need to apply too much, just keep pressing everything in. Makeup literally takes me, like obviously when I'm not chatting and filming and talking to you guys, my makeup would literally take me about 15 minutes now. 
Um, and the reason it takes me 15 minutes is because I literally just blend and blend and blend for so long. If I didn't do that, I'd be done in like five. I'm gonna take some of the Milani bronzer and I basically, this is how simple, like, I just rub it on my finger and I just put this on my eye um, because we like to have a little bronzy bronze lid but we don't use makeup brushes around here, what's the point? This is the part of my makeup routine that has changed so much. I used to spend so long on my brows. Those days are long gone. My brows take me three minutes max. Brow mascara, L'Oreal, I think it's L'Oreal, yeah L'Oreal Lash Paradise brow mascara. This is going to go on the lids, on our lashes and the brows. I literally just do this look. Oh, hello Tommy. My brows are in some desperate need of TLC. They are well look. Let me come close so you can see. Look at the, the state of those. But it's fine, we're growing them out so that we can get them done. And they'll be perfect. Then take my Refi pencil, like I said, I love Refi. Um, and all we do is just brush the mascara through. What I will say about this brown mascara is, on your eyes it's absolutely fine, like it, it, it literally is fine. But when I use it on my brows, it does go a little bit flaky. Oh, I've got no memory, hang on guys. Sorry, as I was saying, it does go like a little bit um, flaky, like when you brush through it, like it does just kind of go out all over the place. Um, but it does the job and it's cheap. I will get a new brown mascara for my eyebrows, but currently I'm happy with this. Um, and then all I do is just fill in any sort of like gaps, like my tail's quite thin and I've got that little like arch bit that's not exactly the thickest. Done. That's all I do on my brows, guys. I'm going to go and do that brow because it's boring for you to watch and I'll be back. It just decided to absolutely chuck it down with the rain. So if the lighting has gone weird, I'm not even going to say sorry because the lighting in this whole entire video has been so bad. Like, I don't know what I've done to this camera. Look at me. I think I should sort it out. But I don't know what I've done. Liner. So I'm using the brown um, Maybelline, New Look Maybelline New York. New York, New York, hyper easy brush tip liner. I think the whole um, thing around the whole clean girl, like fresh glowy skin is brown. Just use brown products. Ditch the black liner, ditch the black mascara. Not to be cocky, but one thing I am pretty good at is a wing. I'm not good at much, I can't lie to you. I, I'm i not very talented. I'm quite the talentless, talentless gal. But I'm pretty good at a wing liner. This brown liner is quite harsh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it comes out quite dark, let me come closer so you can see. Like it's definitely brown, but like it's like a deep dark brown. So I just take my bronzer, any bronzer, and just it out. I know a lot of people use eyeshadow for their liner which is what I used to do. Um, well I actually used to just use my bronzer but I found that this liquid way and then buffing it out with my bronzer just works way better for me. So I believe I've got a whole last house and look at where I'm filming on the floor against some random unit that isn't even ours that was left for us. I wish you guys could really see what this looks like because this lighting is not doing it justice. I'll try and move at the end so that you can you can see it. I'm really messy with my mascara, I can't lie. It gets everywhere. But it's fine. I just clean it up afterwards. Bottom lash mascara. Eh, eh, never. Don't do it. Not for me. I don't think I've ever been into bottom lash mascara. I don't think it's something I ever will get into. It's a big fat no for... My kind of vibe. Eyeliner pen. I go in and out of the freckle trend. Sometimes I absolutely hate it for like two or three weeks and then I love it again at the minute. For this makeup, I love it. I just feel like it it works. Brush again. Like I literally promise on my life, in real life this looks nice. So lips, I'm going to use my Doll Beauty liner in 
diva forever. So my favourite liner is actually um, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I've spent so much money on them and I lose them all the time so I've given up buying them because it, I just keep losing them. Like I feel like, like me and that liner are just cursed because I've had this one for ages, never lost it. I've had all my MAC ones for years, never lost them. Every time I buy Charlotte Tilbury I lose it so I, I, I'm, I'm out, I'm not buying it anymore. Morphe, um, Frosé, I've used this for years now. It's done. For a more glam like night out vibe, I would put my Honey Love or Peach Stock or just any sort of lip lipstick underneath. Um, but because I'm literally going to Nando's, I'm just going for a natural lip. I'm then going to just drag everything down my neck. A little bit of Morphe setting mist, this stuff is fantastic. I literally get through this like. There's no tomorrow, but it's worth it. And then a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. This is just going to make you so shiny. Can never have too much setting mist. Oh, I'm actually wet. We're just going to let that sit. I'm going to take you guys to a better light and a better angle so that I can end this video. Because I want you guys to really see what the makeup actually looks like. Because currently, it just doesn't look good. And I really want you guys to see that like it, it actually is good. I'm just going to quickly show you guys the makeup in this light. Just so you can you can really see... What I'm talking about and then I'll end off the video. Maybe I should have done the whole video here. So it's just very like glowy natural vibes. This is perfect for like every day and night out. You just either put more on, put less on. If I was going on a night out I would definitely set it down again with some setting powder um, just to make sure it doesn't budge because ooh, it's like a very it's a very greasy style of makeup. Do you know what I mean? It's very dewy, oily makeup. I potentially might film this video again. <laughs> Crazy, I know. But this video might not actually make it to the YouTube because I'm just not happy with how messy it's been. I've had to move around a million times. I did not want to do that. Um, so yeah, I might be filming this for no reason. I'm going to leave all my makeup linked down below. Well, I'll try to anyway. Some of it's probably sold out. Um, just so that you guys can go and purchase it if you wanted to. I'm going to go and sort this camera out because absolutely God knows what has happened and then I'm gonna go and get a Nando's buzzing. Would it be an Emily Ball video if it wasn't a total mess? No. <laughs> Ta-ra, love you all. I keep saying that, I've got to stop saying that. And I'll see you next week for another vid. Ciao. Love you. I thought that I was dreaming when you said you loved me.